All right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, um, so Jessica Andrade comes out, and she basically says, I hope that Chris Cyborg beat the hell out of Amanda Nunes. <laughs> so Jessica's mad because Amanda, you know, was uh, cheering, you know, or she was telling uh, Tisha Torres what to do against Jessica. And, you know, okay, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, all right, now, come on. <laughs> you know, and I'm a, okay, and me and my girl, Michael Myers, says, you know, we, we, we talked a little bit behind the scenes, okay? We talked, and, uh, you know, she was giving me the Brazilian point of view from all of this, you know, like, why what Jessica Andrade did was bad. So, I'm going to tell it from, from both viewpoints, because I, I understand both viewpoints, because it, it, it's equivalent to, you know, when, when another brother, you know, come at me for no reason, or, you know, talk against me, and, and you know, I kind of get it. I get where she was coming from, but... We got to look at this situation, okay? So, Amanda Nunez, she was sitting there. And I got this from Bloody Elbow. Um, she wants Cyborg to win. And Amanda Nunez, you know, y'all remember the fight. She was over there. And she was telling Tisha Torres what to do against Jessica Andrade. And, and Jessica got bad. I'm like, well, okay. All right, so uh, Jessica says, I can see Amanda cheering for Tisha in English during my fight. <laughs> I, I, I guess she's not stupid. So, you know, because I've been thinking that all this time. Jessica and Drage don't speak no English. How are you going to explain that? But, okay, we'll keep going. All right, and she said she looked at the octagon side, and it was Amanda Nunez. I was like, oh, okay, she's cheering for her. First of all, what do you have time to think about that? You in a fight. You in a fight, Jessica. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be worried about who outside the octagon. You're supposed to be worried about the girl who in front of you trying to whip your tail. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, man. Okay. I was like, oh, well, she's cheering for her. Well, I don't care. You do care. Jessica, you do care. If you didn't care, you wouldn't have said nothing about it. Okay? If you, you really do care, you would not have said anything about it if you don't care. Jessica, come on, stop. Okay? I'm not done. She was yelling the whole fight. If you're going to cheer against someone from your own country, at least contain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tisha took my back, and she, Amanda, stood up. And when she reversed, and when I reversed the position, got mad. Well, I mean, you know, okay. I don't think this was intent. I don't think Amanda, like, physically has anything against Jessica Andrade. I just, see, here's my take on it, okay? This is my whole take, and Jessica started talking crazy at the end of this. Okay, Amanda got a train with this girl, right? They see each other, they friends, they see each other every day. And I get it. I get it. It's the Brazilian culture thing. You're not supposed to sell out your own. Okay, I, you know what? I can understand that. I don't do that either. I, I, I can't sell out my own. Now, I'm not going to sit here and co-sign a bunch of garbage that my own do. Now, I ain't about to do that. But for the most part, you know, I, I'm not going to sell my own out. Not, not to that, not to a big extent to where, you know, I know that I'm just, I'm selling them out to get views. I, nah, I ain't going to do that crap. <laughs> Okay, so Amanda got to see this girl every day. They, they train together. They, they tight. It's almost like if Tyron Woodley, she trained with Tyron Woodley. If it was a Brazilian in there and Tyron Woodley, she probably going to cheer for Tyron Woodley. It, that's just who she is. Look, Amanda has changed. Her Brazilian, whatever she remember about that loyalty, man, Amanda ain't got that. <laughs> Amanda been lost that. And I kept telling y'all, Amanda, stop, you know, having loyalty. To, to anything in her own when she started kissing Dana White. But thank you, Dana, for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity. And I'm like, man, you better you better watch that. Dana White gonna throw you under the bus. And, and what happened? Dana White threw her under the bus, and guess what? She still be, you know, kissing his butt. She tried to say a little something that she didn't appreciate what he said, but yeah, man, come on, stop. Stop. <laughs> I, and I told y'all, Amanda knew that's gone, but I had some people, uh, coach, you don't know what you're talking about. I, okay, okay. <laughs> and then you know so what 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 is Amanda gonna do Jessica okay what is Amanda gonna do okay what is she gonna do okay now when she fight if you were to fight Nina Anzarov her girlfriend you mentioned Nina do you think Amanda finna sit there and cheer for you because you from Brazil no that's the person she's sleeping with that, that's who she with every day that's her woman <laughs> I mean okay I get it sometimes we got to think okay we got to think. Yeah, 
I get it. It's that whole loyalty thing. I get I get all of that. I get that to the T. But the fact of it is, is that, you know, I, I, okay, she done chose new friends. And now, you know what? I got to start really asking, okay? I got to start asking. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, here go Jessica. Okay, Jessica talking about Nunez should not challenge Chris' title, but should I another super fight uh, for the strawweight title? What? What? What kind of sense does this make? Amanda Nunez barely making 135. How the hell is she going to make strawweight, Jessica? How is she going to make? This don't make sense. See, this is where I was kind of like, okay, I get where Jessica coming from, but I, I don't get this. I do not get this. Why would Amanda Nunez fight Rose Namajunas? Amanda, Amanda is not coming that. She's not going to make straw, uh, straw weight. Just not going to happen. What you mean she need a challenge for it? Shut up. Jesus, man. Jesus. And you want to fight somebody that's not Brazilian. Well, I'm sorry. That's not how it worked. You had to fight Claudia Gadelia. I mean, you had to fight Claudia. Why you ain't saying nothing about that? See, Jessica to me is an opportunist, okay? What are you complaining about? See, I, I can sit here and debunk Jessica for a minute, but but you know the thing of it is though. Don't don't come up. Nah, man. Nah. You fought Claudia. You fought Claudia. The opportunity was there for you to possibly get another title shot. What you do? You hurry up and put your name on the dotted line. I didn't hear you protesting. Well, I, I don't really want to fight my sister. I, and you, you may have said it briefly, but you didn't go on and on about it. Stop. Stop. See, let me tell you something. Don't fool the public. Be about it. And don't try to throw your name drop in there with Chris Cyborg. Because that's what you're doing, too. Don't do that either, Jessica. See, here's my thing. Jessica spoke up one time, and that's against Angela Magana. And you want to know why Jessica Andrade spoke up about that one? Because that's somebody that she possibly could fight against, and it'll draw name, it'll draw attention to her name. Yeah, that's right, I'm saying it. Okay? But Jessica, when Chris Cyborg was going through hell, I'm talking about hell with the bullying and everything, where were you? Where were you? I didn't see any posts from Jessica Andrade. When Chris Cyborg kept getting called Wanderlei Silva by the UFC, I, I, <laughs> Jessica, how you gonna explain this? But isn't it, isn't it funny, and isn't it ironic that you make a comment and you now you come out? Okay, when Chris was trying to be bullied by Andrew Magana online, but you say something about the person who in your weight class, huh? That's convenient, isn't it? That's very convenient, Jessica. Very convenient. Yeah, right. I'm not trying to hit it. See, Chris is about that. Chris was like, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight no Brazilian. And Amanda said, I don't want to fight another Brazilian. But, you know, they made them an offer they can't refuse. See, money talk. Money talk. And I guarantee you, Chris Cyborg will end up getting over a million dollars for this fight. That's out the pay-per-views and everything else. Chris Cyborg going to make some money. That money talk. But Chris did come out and say, and Amanda said, I, I don't want to fight no Brazilian. Okay, but <laughs> now... They told Amanda, this is what happened behind the scenes. Look, Amanda, look here. Uh, we're going to pay you all this here money. Fight Cyborg, call out. Okay. And what she do? Called out. No brainer. It's a no brainer, okay? It is a no brainer. But Jessica trying to act like she was rolling shotgun with Cyborg all this time. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Nah. You made comments about when it was opportune. And then, then now you mad. Now you upset. Now you want to go ahead and co-sign Cyborg. See, why when this fight wasn't first introduced? When it was first introduced, you, you didn't come out and say nothing then. Nope. But you waited to after your bout. <sighs> I tell you, man. I tell you. Don't try to act like you for the people. You for, you know, you for your, but don't try to act like that. When you know darn well in the beginning, okay? In the very beginning. <laughs> you wasn't even putting, you wasn't even supporting then. Nah, Jessica, you got to come better. I get it, though. I get it. You know, Brazilians got to support Brazilians. I get that whole genre. I get it. But Jessica, nah. No, no, no. See, that ain't what you're doing. You're being an opportunist. And that, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Handsome. Now, what do we know? Subscribe to the best ones on my platform on YouTube.